Welcome to the Retzel Health Law Hotspot. Health Law Hotspot is a podcast for physicians and health professionals that covers the legal issues and trends that affect the healthcare industry. At this time, Many healthcare providers who are not on the front lines of battling the COVID-19 pandemic find themselves with little to no office hours and the inability to service patients. As a result, these providers find themselves with financial difficulties. In order to address financial hardship, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services has expanded its accelerated and advanced payment program to allow certain advanced Medicare payments to healthcare providers. Advanced Medicare payments are available during a period of public health emergency to qualified healthcare providers. To be a qualified eligible provider requires four components. One, providers must have billed Medicare for claims within the 180 days immediately prior to the date of the signature on the provider's request form for advance payments. Two, the provider must not be in bankruptcy. Three, the provider must not be under active medical review or program integrity investigation. Four, the provider must not have any outstanding delinquent Medicare overpayments. To apply for payments, providers should contact the appropriate Medicare administrative contractor for their region and type of service. This can be determined by going to CMS's website and searching for Medicare administrative contractors by state. If approved, qualified providers can receive up to 100% of the Medicare payment amount for a three month period. Each Medicare administrative contractor will work to try to issue payment within seven calendar days of receiving a request. Repayment of the accelerated payments will begin 120 days after the date that payment is issued, and most Part A and Part B Medicare providers or suppliers will have 210 days from the date of the payment to repay the balance. As part of the repayment process, at the end of the 120-day period, CMS will begin to recoup the advance payments from claims submitted by the provider after the 120 day period. This means that instead of receiving payments for newly submitted claims after that time period, the provider's advance payment balance will be reduced by the value of the claims submitted after 120 days. This will be an automatic process conducted by CMS. Although these advance payments are subject to recoupment through this process, it may be a positive avenue for those healthcare providers who find themselves with an immediate cash flow issue, but anticipate that over the next few months, they will return to normal or near normal levels for Medicare billings and claims. If you would like more information how this approach may assist you, please contact one of the Retzel Healthcare Attorneys. The Retzel Health Law Hotspot is made available by the firm and its attorneys for educational purposes and to provide general information, not to provide specific legal advice. Use of the Retzel Health Law Hotspot does not create an attorney-client relationship between you and the firm or any of its attorneys. The Retzel Health Law Hotspot should not be used as a substitute for competent legal advice, and you should contact an attorney in your state about any legal needs or questions you may have.